Um, my time is, is short, but I know God is going to bless us with something uh, uh, very tremendous in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this short time. Thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you because it is the Spirit that quickens. Let your Holy Spirit quicken us as we share your word together, even today, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you will give us revelation into your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Last week, uh, last Friday, we discussed, uh, many people have not been attending uh, Bible uh, study. We want everybody to be attending Bible study. It's uh, online. And uh, by the grace of God, how many people don't know about the Bible study or don't see the announcement? How many people are not on the church platform? Is there anyone that is not on the church platform? So the announcement is always there, and the technical team, they always send out the, uh, the, uh, the online uh, link every Friday. So we need to be joining this because it's very important. And I'll be noting people now from today, those that are not there, I'll be noting you. Praise the Lord. So it is important for us to be joining the Bible study because it's a place to learn the word of God. We can ask questions and you can discuss what is in your mind. You can open it up and we will open it up for discussion by the grace of God. So make sure you always, it's uh, from 7.30 on Friday, every Friday and it's online. So by the grace of God. We were studying the topic as uh, the last week, and it was about uh, what her brother was telling us that a more excellent way, and that most excellent way he was discussing is about, the, about love. And I wanted to do a, a teaching on it, but because of time, maybe I'll find another time to do that teaching on, on love. But what is very important that I'm going to share with us this morning is uh, from, uh, I will take it from, because I'm going to make it brief this morning. I want us to read the book of uh, John 14, 21 to 23, if that is the only verse I can share with you this morning. But before then, I would read 1 Corinthians 12, 31, talking about uh, what Paul, Paul was saying there. 1 Corinthians 13, uh, 12, 31. It says, it says, but covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet I show you a more excellent way. The Lord says that there is a way, an excellent way. What does it mean to be an excellent way? That is a way by which you can excel. A way by which you can surpass. Is that not what it means? He said an excellent way. And it means what? That there is a particular way by which you can exceed and excel beyond the ordinary. So Paul was saying this because he knows. He said in another place, he said, there, uh, there, is, there exists what? Faith, hope, and charity. He said, but the greatest of this is what? Is charity, is love. And he was describing love in this passage also. He said there is a way by which you can excel above situations, circumstances, by which you can be lifted above them and you can exceed them. He said that way is an excellent way. A way that surpasses your 
present situation that can give you speed above your colleagues. And he said, I show you, I'm going to show you an excellent way. So I'm going to read from that John 14, verse 21 and 23. It was Jesus that was talking here. Talking about the excellent way, what it means. John 14, 21 and 20. Okay, it's on the. He said, He that had my commandments and keep them, he it is that loveth, that loves me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Verse 23. Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man loves me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. The Lord is talking about love. He said, if a man loves me, there are two things. The love produces action. If you love God, he said, you will keep my commandments. The only thing that can keep you from sin, the only thing that can keep you from the world is the love for God. And that is the test of your relationship with God. If you love God, your heart will be totally devoted unto him. Your heart will long for him. And with this, you will be able to stand for him. And that is a test of everything. That's why Jesus will test him. He said the first commandment is that you will love the Lord your God with what? With all your heart. And sometimes we don't understand what it means to love God with all your heart. Your heart is divided because there are other things that compete with the love of God. There are other things that you have taken as priority above God in your heart. And the Lord is saying, you cannot serve me a mammal. Many things that look like competing hands. They have taken over your heart and those are the things you are loyal to. And that is what you spend much of your time on. But the Lord is saying, thou shalt love me with all your heart. And Jesus is saying that if a man loves me and keeps my word, he said my father will love him. He said something that is very, uh, very uh, important. He said, we, he said, I and my father will come and we come unto him and we live inside him. I want to tell you something that it is the presence of God in your life that makes the difference. When God dwells with you, when the presence of God is with you, sometimes it is beyond prayers. You don't need to pray for certain things. Because the presence of God in your life brings those things to pass. The presence of God is full of power. He said, where the word of the king is, there is power. Some things you don't need to pray for. But all you need is God. is your presence there. And before you know things, God solves many things. There are many things we don't even see. Because before we see them, God has already undertaken for you. All you need, the, Jesus is saying, he said, if you love me and you keep my words, it all bothers about the excellent way. He said, I will show you a more excellent way. How much of the love of God is inside you? How much do you crave for him? How much of his presence is in your life? Have you allowed the other things to take away your attention from the living God? And your attention is divided with many things in the world. 
There is no way that you can satisfy him in such situation unless you give your life completely unto him. Brethren, Paul is saying that this is the excellent way. This is the only way by which you can excel. This is the only way by which you can overcome. And that is why it is important today. If you have not given your life to Christ, you cannot follow that excellent way. Because Jesus is saying that, he said, it is me and my father that will come and dwell in your heart. I don't know whether you are here today, you've not given your life to Christ. It's an opportunity for everyone to give their lives to Jesus Christ. That is the beginning. Then we begin to see the love of God drawing you closer. I say the love of Christ constrains us. It is that love that keeps us from sin. It is that love that keeps us from falling. It is that love that makes us to choose between the world and Christ. It is a choice that must come into the life of everyone. Whether you love God, he said, you cannot serve mammon and me. You either choose God or you don't choose him. Jesus, he said, if a man loves me, there is a yardstick to measure that. Number one, he keeps my commandment. He keeps my words. He's a man that focuses on what I say. And that is what directs the life of that person. And when that happens, he said, I will come and live inside you and abode with you. You need the presence of God in every situation. You cannot do with it without the presence of God. And when the presence of God is there constantly, it sheets you from all things. And it makes way for you. The Lord will make way for you. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray this morning, Father. Help me to learn how to keep your presence. Help me to learn how to walk with you in love. Help me to learn how to say no to the other, how to love you above all, all these things. Do you love Christ above these things? Do you love Christ above those things that are competing for the space of God in your life? How many times have you given them the priority over God? How many times have you said, Lord, just give me time. I'm going to enjoy myself there and come back. Jesus said, if any man lays his hand on the plow and looks back, it's not worthy to be my disciple. How much of God is retained inside you? He said, I show you a more excellent way. The only way you can excel is by him. The only way you can triumph is by him. Are you looking for, uh, for opportunities outside Christ? Are you looking for, 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 for promotion outside Christ? Christ is the source. He said, I show you an excellent way. We will do this study one, uh, another time. We'll be able to know what it means to differentiate between hatred and love, especially among brethren. We are going to be talking about the practicality of love. Brethren, the first thing is, do you love God? Or you have other things that have taken priority in your life. I want you to delineate things this morning. I say, God... I love you. If you want to give your life to Christ, I give you the opportunity. You can raise up your hand and I will pray with you. If you, have not, you are not sure of your salvation, you are not sure that if Christ comes today, I have him inside me. I have him inside me. And you are not sure that you can go with him. You can lift up your hands. I will pray with you. I pray that the Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' name. Christ in you is the hope of glory. There is no other way to live but by him. He said, where I will make my abode in you because you love me. It is the level of, the practical level of your love for God that shows how much you crave for his word. 
how much you crave for him, how much you seek him, how much you, you relate with him. That is what shows. Are there other things that are taking your time apart from him? All those things at the end, they will, they, 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 they will not make any meaning to you. Speak to God this morning. And I want you to commit your ways unto God this, this week. And say, God, go before me, Lord. Let your presence go with me this week. Let the presence of the Lord make, make a difference in my life to do this week. Are you confronting any situation or you are having any expectation? Any interview or anything? Any job seek? Just tell God and say, God, go before me. Let your presence go before me. Moses said, he said, if your presence does not go with me, he said, they cause not there. I want you to pray that anywhere where the glory of God will not follow me, Lord, and I desire to go, let me not be able to go there this week. But where your presence will go, Lord, let doors open of their own accord by the presence of God unto me this week. Let there be divine intervention in every way I turn to this, this week. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God bring to being those things that look so difficult, ah, that I've been seeking for, and it seems they have not come this week. Let them come speedily in the name of Jesus. He said, I show you a more excellent way, a way to excel. This week, Lord, because of your presence in my life, I am going to excel. In terms of your job, you are going to excel. In terms of your finance, you are going to excel. Ah, in everything you seek, in your head, you are going to excel. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are there earth challenges in the name of Jesus by the presence of God? The Bible says that the mountains, they skip like rams in the presence of God. Every earth challenge in the name of Jesus will come against you in the name of the Lord. We say, skip like rab in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We receive sadness in every area of our life. Spiritual, mentally, and physically. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want to give you a time. Just speak to God. Is there anything in particular that you desire from God for this week? Is there anything you are specifically asking for? I want you to commit into to God's hands and say, God, I am committing this particular thing into your hand. Next week, give me a testimony. By the time I come next week, Lord, according to your riches in glory, Father, meet this need for me. And Father, let me come and testify unto you by this time next week in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord Jesus, we come unto you, Lord. Every need be mentioned right now in the name of Jesus because of your presence in this place, Lord. Look upon every heart. Lord, every heart desire that is presented unto you. Lord, according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, let every request be attended to now in the name of Jesus. Let every need be met, Lord. And turn them to testimony that Lord by this time next week Lord your people will come to testify of the goodness and the power of God in the name of Jesus thank you faithful Lord in Jesus name we have prayed amen